Hi there. Today I'm going to cover for you a module called Android Tuner Free. It has functionalities within the Expos framework, but it's also a very powerful standalone app itself, so we'll get a chance to see that on the device. Let's check it out. <laughs> This week we we'll go for Android Tuner Free. This is an app slash module that was put together and posted on the X on the Exposed Module repository as well as XDA. This is brought to us by XDA Senior Member 3C. We'll go ahead and open up the thread. In there we'll see that there's a few download links. The free version is what we're reviewing today, but there is also a pro version and I think it's $8.99 for the upgrade in the US. The main benefit of this application is that it is actually is a combination of multiple different tweaks and tools that you're able to use, as well as some uh, customization to the UI that uses the Expose framework. The first thing we need to do here is download and install the module itself. There's three ways really to download and install this. You can either follow the two links that I showed you in the actual thread, either Google Play or Amazon Play Store, or if you have the installer uh, installed, actually the Expose installer installed, you just go under Modules and then look for Android Tuner Free. Version is currently 0.12.5.2 and then you can install it, check it, restart the device and then you're set. Again, launching it, you can either launch it from here or you can go ahead once you install it, you'll be able to run it from there. Uh, you guys might have noticed, I'll go back real quick, that I had a widget sitting next to the actual Expose installer um, shortcut here. And that's actually one of the Android Tuner widgets, and it gives me a percentage of what my battery is. And again, you can customize that. But once you click that, it opens up the interface itself. It's based in a, a page setup. So you have multiple pages, about five pages to go with. Overall, the setup is pretty simple. Uh, very much a, a combination of an application and a module. And I say that only because not everything in here needs to be in the module format. So if you install it without installing it uh, through the exposed module, you're actually not losing that much as far as features. It does have nice customization as far as when it comes to configuring, you know, the notification which is the battery specific uh, notification which enables you to either hide the uh the battery you know the low warning or the android battery itself in its entirety and then just use the icon that they provide you uh overall very simple very easy it does have a pro version of this where it gives you more customization you have also notification packages and then you can go online and then look at them the main benefit of this application really comes down is the monitoring and the ability to customize what you can see and what you can do with your device, understanding what's going on. It's a combination really of multiple applications that the developer provides in separate packages, but if you do upgrade to the Pro here, you do get a much bigger package here. It's anywhere from, uh, you know, increasing speed uh, on the SD card, the ability to partition, to, uh, you know, timing in there, uh, kernel configuration as far as what you have, build prop editor is very simple, very easy. Customizing it lists all the build prop uh, values that you have currently. Overall, very, very functional in there. Miscellaneous setting just goes into additional ones. Device manager, task manager is very nice. It goes in there. It lists all the active actual tasks that are running. You're able to end them. Tells you how long they're running for. Uh, what I did find to be very, very, very nice is under CPU manager, if we go in there, and this enables you to have a very live view of all your CPUs currently running on the device. By default, it has multiple CPU support, so you notice here that we have four cores running on this Nexus 7. What makes this more special than any, any of the other apps on the market, like let's say uh, to ROM Toolbox or stuff, similar applications like that, is the fact that it does actually have an exposed module functionality within it. And that's really where it does goes in there as far as configuring the notification. And, you know, you can configure the widget, and that's the widget that we were showing on the desktop. Here you get a little bit more explanation. You have a root explorer for obviously exploring your uh, root folders and then be able to modify those. This requires root system and kernel logs. Uh, this is very nice because it starts going in and listing the active log on the device. The other thing here is we have terminal emulator, script editor, memory cleaner, Linux firewall configuration, and then reboot device. Here, this gives you the ability to have a kind of a, a power reboot option, and you can select which option you want to go in there. Here we have just, you know, battery statistics. You can go in there and it gives you a much more detailed level usage of what your battery statistics are. It does have a functionality that works within the Expose framework, which what makes it special. So it's kind of an app and a module at the same time. The application or the module work very well together. Overall, when you first turn it on, you're going to notice there's this overwhelming kind of too many pages, too many things to do. Well, a good portion of those are not exposed module functionalities, but it does give you the ability to customize or understand what's going on on a device much better than any of the other applications that are on the market right now. It combines so many into one interface that it makes it just kind of an all-in-one shop kind of thing going on. Uh, the exposed module uh, configuration that it has is kind of limited to the battery configuration in the notification area. 
And the hope essentially is that the developer will put in more time and more, more customization into the exposed framework. Since I think what the goal essentially here is to provide you a one-stop shop type of an application. You're able to not only uh, check and see how you're performing, your system is performing, uh, what's keeping your device awake you, from going in there, changing and configuring your build prop and actually be able to actually, you know, back it up, restore it, uh, create zip files from this application to restore it itself within if you flash a new operating system, uh, create backups and restore out of your device. It just does many things that you probably already have on your device either, or you probably want to just consolidate into one interface. The pros of the application. The free version is very nice. Uh, the ability to customize it is very, very good. Um, it looks very, very much like an all-in-one type of a tuner application slash module. On the con side, and not necessarily too much of a con on the application itself, but I find that the exposed part of it is limited in such that it's purely on the on the you know status bar. And I think hopefully in the future the developer will include more modules or more customizations. Um, it worked great on the uh, Nexus 7 that I tested it on, and it works very well. Uh, overall, let me know what you guys think. Leave comments in this, uh, below here, below the video. Like and subscribe to this channel. And as usual, like and subscribe to my channel. And I just posted a, a new video on my channel of a lapel Bluetooth speaker review. Please check it out. Let me know what you guys think. And I will be doing a giveaway on that uh, within the week. So be on the lookout for a video over the description for the giveaway.